Hi guys, we're back at it. This is the MSI GT70 laptop. I just did a flagship installation, all is done. Did not select anything about Nvidia because yes, that's the topic, Nvidia. There we go again. Last time on this video, I've made an, um, in, uh, downloaded the driver from Nvidia.com. And at that particular moment um, in time, well, everything works just fine. It's it's always hardware and even time related in the sense that Linux and Nvidia, it should all work together. Let me just, yeah, that's better, I think. A little bit less light for me, however. So, did nothing, flagship, just go through it. Did not install anything, not even Linux LTS, which is where we're going to. This has the NVIDIA GTX 670M and a hard disk and that's why it's taking so long. A real hard disk, you know, with the, the movable arm there, goes and all the disks that need to turn and will it still turn 7200 minutes per second? I don't think so. Let me just move these things a little bit, whoops, the other way, like this, a little bit closer maybe like that a little bit down again all right so you know the drill you get this message okay go now since i don't want to type in all the commands that i always have to type i go for the following i go for file manager i create a folder for example arco and in there Right mouse click. I'm gonna do some stuff. Git clone HTTPS. And you have your own GitHub account. It doesn't cost you a penny. Just make an account on github.com and put your stuff on there. It's all explained on articlingsd.com. Eric Dubois, that's my name. That's my, my account. And Arco Linux Nemesis is the after scripting I do after clean machine clean install now let's have a look uh -huh. git up come around I can like nemesis looks good git clone also good not cannot resolve oh yeah true 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 this machine is wireless there's no LAN cable in it every single thing in here has a LAN cable not this little guy so Oh my god, didn't see that. Nah. Whew. Connect. I will have to see here down here we see this icon moving and you're now connected to the Wi-Fi network. Cool. So I can do an update as well. But that's not the point. We want a git clone. Bye. Now don't just do this don't just copy and, and, and go on and, and run it I mean you sure you can copy but you need to think about it what's in here it's a small little script that says go get this go get that and go get this right but what you need to get is what you need to put in here so I'm gonna go switch switch to the Linux LTS kernel that's the Linux kernel Gonna get the Linux LTS headers. I'm gonna download Optimus Manager Qt or Qt, which is a nice graphical thing. It's gonna be in here to the right, the right button there, bottom. And I need the 390xx DKMS. How do I know that? Well, analyzing that's one, but let me point you in the direction of articlinux.com. A is coming, I thought he's not coming. It's just way slower without SSD. Arco Linux NVIDIA. Let's do it like this. Let's see what Google already finds. NVIDIA. Well, I hope it's good. I agree. NVIDIA. Arco Linux NVIDIA. I think it's well written. I want this. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Not quite fond of the results that it puts out here. As in this really S U C K S. So articlelinks.com because we have a category called NVIDIA. We have an this is the category with tags called NVIDIA. Lots of articles talk about NVIDIA, 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 right? They should find it. So this is the um, 670, so a little bit down here. This is the guy. Here we already installed it and it's working and it's the 390 that we need. And we've gone through the process of looking up what driver do I need, right? It's daunting in the beginning, but once you know, you know, and that's it. And from now on, it's always going to be the driver 390. All right. And this is the NVIDIA installation going for the same things. Look, same things, except it's coming from NVIDIA, which always uh, ends in this run extension. And I, we've explained everything how that works. Now I want to test out my script. I want to test out this. Is this working after rebooting? So more or less the same procedure, but this time it is actually coming from Pac-Man, right? So a little warning, do not run, just run this, examine, judge, run at your own risk. It may break your system, of course, drivers, right? Reuse the script to make your own script. And then we have all that. Why? Think, think, this is a new system. Update. Get your updates in, get your databases in. Oof. And all those updates as well. well. Let's update those as well. There's new Conky out for NVIDIA. New H block out to block everything out. Maybe this is not a very well known fact, but I have all seen already seen some YouTubers talk about it and worship it until into heaven. How do you say that? Really think it's it's the best, the blast, something like that. Here it is, enable HBlock. It's there. If you type HBlock in a terminal, it's gonna work too, right? But this is a graphical user interface. Database update. It's gonna block hundreds of thousands, I'm not exaggerating, websites that track you, monitor you, Trojans, uh, shitware, come, uh, all kinds of things that you don't wanna have. And it's gonna help you. But sometimes you're on a website and it says, if you can't get to the website, that means your H block is blocking it. So you click it off and it's working again. So H block. More info about H block. We're still waiting. So um, git hub H block. Enter. It's all ready on articlelinks.com. All explained. But this is the source. So Hector. Is providing this for us in preview security and privacy by blocking ads, tracking, and malware domains. And there are lots of malware domains. All right, how far are we? Hmm, still updating the init RAM file system. What's happening? This is happening. Look at this file and the size. Oop, done. Size is again stable. It does take a lot of time to make in a 19.7 megabyte thing. Anyway, we're up to date. We're not going to reboot. We're doing it in the same time. So Linux LTS is going to be installed. Linux LTS headers is going to be installed. And instead of typing it, I typed it once in a script. And then I'm running the script, so I don't need to type it again and again and again because this, these machines here, they get formatted all the time. And if I want to install it, I have to think again. How was it again? No, put it in the script. Don't have to think anymore because this is the other one to my right is an NVIDIA uh, driver. This one is an NVIDIA 390 and, and so on. How can you remember all that? So just make yourself a script. And that's what we're going to test. Is this working? And we're back, we're back again making this thing, I think. 
or the LDS version of it here. Look at the size, the size is, is growing. And the update is, uh, the grub is automatically updated, so we don't need to type update grub. But if you are on another system, Arch Lakes, for example, or something uh, derivative, yeah, think about updating the grub if you install Linux kernels. There is Linux Zen, there is Linux Hardened, and there's lots of stuff on the AOR. And then we follow. And sometimes we need to press yes, 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 and no. So I thought, let's make a video because well, then, then you know, right? So my finger is on enter all the time. Yes is capital, meaning enter, installed. And here you see the reference to NVIDIA, downloading something, run. So they, they're getting, of course, the data from NVIDIA.com. We've done that in the other video, but then without Pac-Man. This is yay or Pac-Man. Right, Ye is passing it along to Pac-Man at some point. Three ninety utils seems to be installed, and off we go to the next one. And there we go, installing the next thing, Nvidia DRM the patch. I see. I just follow along. Eh? It might be gibberish, but we don't care as long as NVIDIA is installed. We don't care. We don't get whatever text every word means. The fan is kicking in. Trying to cool it. Is it that warm? Sensors. Enter. Oops. Sen oh, sensors. Enter. 65. Yeah. Hmm. 67, 63, 65, 68. <laughs> He's busy. Burning man, burning PC. Hmm. Stay 69, 68, 69, yeah. Slowly but gradually. <laughs> no, no 70. Critical is 105, okay. Like when, when we can boil water, then it's critical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does happen. Eh? I think only two weeks ago, I put one of my screens from the basement up here and I said, let's hook it up. And it started smelling, as if it, smelling funny. So what is smelling here? Then I saw the smoke coming out of the top. I said, oh my god, unplug. And whoosh, it's out. Remove making dependency, do so enter, I always, oh sorry, I always press enter, remove, if I say press enter, say no, enter, always enter, always enter, and always enter, still good. Uh, 
let's hope it keeps like that so we don't have to remember anything and just remember enter 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 if you do that on windows sometimes the applications you got spyware in Whoa. And here comes something that maybe uh, you're wondering, okay, looking for conflicting packages, lib xnv control 390xx and the other one are in conflict, remove this one. Um, here I said yes, I think. Here I said yes. Remove this one and keep the 390. Eh? That sounds like the normal thing to do. So it is not always enter, enter. Oh too bad you want the new stuff you want the 390 stuff I have to be awake and yes 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 won't do it so pseudo reboot is already possible or should I can I let's just pseudo reboot no skipping steps. Already 16 minutes to install things like that. Yeah, it always takes time. Huh? Thank God we don't have a crashing system. That's the first reflex we have, right? So, but it's not yet running on NVIDIA. <laughs> it's not. It is not running on NVIDIA. Click NVIDIA settings. And if you get this, you know you're not running on NVIDIA. Okay, quit, quit. And now Optimus comes into play. Optimus manager, click. Nothing happens. No machine, everything broken. No, it's down here to the right, the bottom, settings, the right mouse click. I'm going to launch that, that startup. Uh, that's this, no, that's general. Launch this startup, configuration files, uh-uh. Optimus, startup mode, Intel, Nvidia. All choices, you choose, eh? uh, these are my choices. So, once more. Or was it already there? And then switch to Nvidia. I can actually say switch to NVIDIA with this little button down there. Switch to NVIDIA. Logs out, Xorg is restarted. Xorg gets a new message. Here is the NVIDIA driver. Here is the NVIDIA card. Go run NVIDIA. And this is why I like it. I see this icon. And with this icon, I already know NVIDIA is okay. And here's the last test. The 390 is working and I can start teaming and tweaking and all these settings changing all that and start gaming with my nvidia driver all right that concludes the video cheers